My name is Stephen King. I've written several motion pictures, but I want to tell you about a movie called Maximum Overdrive. found out about the leader when I had a M274 mule at Trader John's Army Surplus and a customer came up and said, that's the leader, the leader from Maximum Overdrive. And I didn't know what that was, the movie was. So I said, this is a M274 mule that was used in Vietnam as a cargo carrier or sometimes a weapons platform. And he said, no, this was the, the evildoer supervillain in Maximum Overdrive. I finally watched the movie. From that moment on, it took me 25 years, I was looking for the leader and I found him. I went up to Wisconsin to a mule parts dealer and I went behind this pole barn and there was a stack of probably 15 or 16 beds and in the middle of the stack there was this mule bed with an electric servo motor and a gun mount on top of it. John, the parts dealer, then told me uh, that was a mule from the movie Maximum Overdrive. I figured I'd restore it just like it was back in Maximum Overdrive. Took a lot of time and located an original M60 military training aid to mount on top of it and put it on the wall. So I knew this was the original leader, not just from what the John Emery, the mule parts dealer, had told me. You could see the scars on the mule and knew that this was the leader. For example, the gun mount. You can see in the beginning of the movie they have the gun mounted directly to the bed, no, no reinforcement plate. And you can see it vibrating all over the place, and obviously it broke off. They then came back, and you see it, there's a big, huge rectangular plate bolted to the bed that the gun mount is welded to. And you can see that rectangular plate is on my bed. You can see where the holes have been re-drilled several times uh, from it being broken off. Underneath, the remote control servo motor was there, and that was used to drive the machine gun to have it spin around as it was shooting. They actually lifted the bed of the mule up. When they did that, they had to rip the foot basket off of the bed and mount it about 12 inches lower. When they did that, they ripped a big hole in the front of the bed. That hole is still there. The mule was supposedly taken over by aliens and self-driving. And they did not use remote control to drive the mule. What they actually did is something easier. They lifted the mule up 12 inches and a driver was hidden between the bed and the undercarriage. You know what, let me, let me have someone who was actually there tell you how they did it. July 1985, I came there to do the makeup effects of Maximum Overdrive. Every vehicle was driven by somebody, but they were hidden inside the vehicle. There was no remote control or anything. Either you had uh, you know, guys that were inside of fake back seats you know, with little viewers they could look out of. They're there with extended controls driving. The mule that comes up, they call it the mule, it has the machine gun on it. The driver was lying in the bed. He was actually laying down the bed driving that vehicle. So the leader was finally killed at the end of the movie when Emilio, on the sly, has a little conversation with his friend to distract the leader runs over to the front of the leader, opens a secret hatch made just for this movie, drops in a hand grenade, spins the M60 around, the leader blows sky high. 